In this video tutorial, we are going to be putting together some of the skills we've learnt over the past few videos to create the Australian Aboriginal flag using Python's Turtle module. So you can see here that this um, is basically made up of a black rectangle, a red rectangle and a yellow circle on top. Okay, so not too much to it. What we're going to do to get started is simply write from Turtle import all or import star that means we're bringing in all of the functions from the turtle module so we have access to them to be used in our code now the first thing we're going to be doing is setting the speed to zero okay that basically means when we draw this aboriginal flag we don't want to watch the turtle take its time to draw it we just want it to appear instantaneously on the screen Next thing we're going to do is a new function we haven't used before called setup. And this allows us to define the window size. So I want it to be 800 pixels wide by 500 pixels in height. Okay, so let's put them into brackets. Um, we'll also set the BG color to black. And the reason I'm setting the BG color to black or the background color to black is it saves me having to draw a black rectangle. So it saves me having to write a whole heap of code and I'll show you that in just a moment once we get the red rectangle drawn okay so speaking of that red rectangle that is what we might draw now so I'll just put in a comment there that says red rectangle and we'll start putting in the code for it so the first thing we're going to do is put the pen up take it off the page and we'll set our coordinates we're going to go to minus 400 and minus 250 for our starting coordinates for the red rectangle. So that's in the bottom section of our screen. Once we're in position, we'll put the pen back down and we're ready to start uh, drawing our flag. So the color we want for this bottom section of the flag is red. We want it to be a filled in shape. So let's begin the fill and we'll create a rectangle. So I'm going to use a loop for this. I'm going to write for i in range 2. So the following code we're going to repeat two times. Alright, so put a colon at the end of that line and then down on the next line we've indented our mouse cursor to show which code we need to repeat twice. First of all we're going to go forward the width of the screen. So forward 800 pixels. Then we're going to chuck a left turn at 90 degrees and go forward half of the vertical size of the screen, so 250 pixels. Then we're going to swing around to the left another 90 degrees. And that's the code I want to repeat twice. Okay, so those four lines there will simply be, re be repeated twice to create a rectangle. Okay, on the next line we'll just push the mouse cursor back to the left of the page to show that we're now outside of our loop and we'll end the fill. So we're no longer colouring in the shape. Let's give it a run and see what happens. Okay, we will need to save it first, so just give it the name Aboriginal flag. And as you can see, we've got a black top half to the flag and a red bottom half. Okay, well, what we've done is we've coloured the background black, and then over the top of that, we've put in this red rectangle. Alright, so as you can see, that's why I didn't bother drawing up a black rectangle. I just made the background black and put the red one over the top. They're both exactly the same size because they fill up half of the page each. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a little um, yellow circle that goes in the middle here that represents the sun. So, oops, let's go down to the next line here and we'll put in a comment that says circle. Looks like a yellow circle. And to do that, we need to bring our pen up off the page and move to some new coordinates. We're going to move to 0 and minus 125 to start this circle. We'll then put our pen down onto the page, ready for drawing. The colour we want our circle is yellow. We'll begin the fill to show that we want it coloured in. And we'll set the radius of this circle to 120 pixels. We'll then end our fill, just to finish colouring it in, and that's all. Let's have a look. There's our Aboriginal Australian flag. 
Um, we've just got the little bit of a turtle hanging out the end of there, the yellow flag, a uh, yellow sun. So let's hide the turtle down the bottom here. So hide turtle. And I might put in my usual exit on click function as well at the end to allow us to click the picture to exit out of the screen. So let's run that now. And you can see we have got an Aboriginal flag drawn up to perfection. Okay, so pretty easy once you know how. Just a couple of rectangles and a circle on top.